are some things that I've been wondering about lately. I wonder if a dog breaks a mirror, if it has 49 years of bad luck. I wonder who left something under the Tooth Fairy's pillow when she was little. I wonder what sheep count when they're trying to fall asleep. I wonder if laughing hyenas ever cry. My children have actually influenced this book in a number of different ways. When my oldest son, Justin, was a little boy, I'd say about seven years old, one day, totally impromptu, he picked up a frying pan in the kitchen and he looked at me and he said, freeze, it's the chef B.I. And then I wrote a poem about it with his permission and that turned into the poem called Maternal Bureau of Investigation about sneaking a cookie. And my daughter, Paris, came home from school with a rhyming poem about kids in her class. And that poem is pretty much printed verbatim in the book, again crediting her, and that is called One of These Things is Not Like the Other. The illustrator of the Wonder Book is a young gentleman named Paul Schmid, and this is his debut as a children's book illustrator. I think that Paul's illustrations completely captured the essence and flavor of this book. It's, it, it's almost as if his style was created for this book. I cannot imagine the Wonder Book looking any other way. Here's the lesson that I'd really like children, families, readers to take away from this book. And it's quite simple. And that is, take time to sit and wonder.